Hey guys, Coach Robert Gray with Victor Performance here. We're gonna go over our foam roll routine that we use at Victor Performance before our, our normal group classes. Um, by no means is this, is this the only option that you have for uh, tissue prep before a workout. Um, this is just the one we do and our members know. So I wanted to give you guys a little insight to it. So um, there's five or six different spots that we hit. Um, so the first one is we always start with the bottoms of our feet. Okay, so I'm using a baseball here. You could use a lacrosse ball, you could use a softball, you could use any hard object that allows you to press against and feel some, some uh, um, you know, tension or discomfort as you're pushing into the object, okay? Generally don't want something pointy, right, or, or with an edge, uh, something rounded, you know, maybe like a rolling pin in the kitchen would work, okay? So we're gonna do these, uh, each of these, anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds per side. Okay, so left foot, right foot. The next exercise that we'll do is our calves, or excuse me, the next body part we'll do is on our calves. So we're just hitting that area from uh, our ankle to just below our knee joint, looking for tension. Okay, if you lift your butt off the ground, obviously it's gonna be a little more pressure. Okay, and if you even cross this leg over, there'll be even more pressure. You wanna make sure whatever tension you're feeling, you're able to breathe through it. Um, that's a good indication of, uh, you know, if this is still beneficial for you or not, okay? So if you feel like you're having to hold your breath because the discomfort is so much, that might be too much pressure on that specific spot. Okay, so again, spending 20 to 30 seconds on each side, just kind of scanning the muscle, looking for the spots that are most uh, uh, most uncomfortable and just hanging out there, spending some extra time there. So after we do our calves, we're gonna go up onto our hips. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of the outside, more my glutes. Okay, so I'm gonna shift my weight onto my left hip. Okay, my right hip's off the foam roller. And then my left foot will come up onto my right knee, okay? And again, this, this area is a bit smaller. You don't have to roll quite as much and you'll know pretty quickly if you're on the right spot. It should feel, you know, it shouldn't feel like you're on a bony um, part of your, of your body at all. It should feel kind of meaty. Okay, again, kind of trying to get into your glutes. 20 to 30 seconds and then switching sides. Okay, once you've done both sides of your glutes, we'll go on to our quads. Okay, so now we're going the area between the top of our knee joint and uh, just below our hip joint. Okay, again, we like to do these one leg at a time. Okay, and you can scan kind of going onto the inside of your leg a little bit. You can roll onto the outside of your leg a little bit. Okay, searching for the areas that have tension, that are un uncomfortable. Okay, and trying to spend some time there. Okay, on this one you can feel free to slowly bend and extend your knee as well. Okay, to try to um, you know increase the intensity or increase the, the benefit of the, the time spent here. Okay, after 20 to 30 seconds we'll switch sides and do the same thing. And then the last spot that we'll hit in this sequence is our thoracic spine or our upper back. So if you just think about the area of your shoulder blades and the top of your shoulder blades and the bottom of your shoulder blades, that's a good general area to be trying to, to roll out uh, for this, this um, specific movement or drill. Okay, so hands are gonna be behind my head, supporting my neck a bit. Okay, hips come up off the floor as you scan. Once you find a spot that you wanna hang out on, you can drop your hips and then begin to kind of flare your ribs to the ceiling and then crunch them back down. Again, breathing through the entire time. So that's the sequence we do at Victor Performance. Um, have at it before any of, any of the workouts that you guys see us post over the, the coming weeks and you know, maybe month or two, um, as well as any other videos showing you some other areas that you can roll out. All right, guys, have a great day.